to feel through. Um, a couple of things that you need to be aware of. Um, make sure that your wheel is turned on the power switch on the side. You always want to turn it off once you're done cleaning. Um, and once you're ready to cut off your, your pots, you want to make sure that you have it on to begin with and that it's going the right way. If you're right-handed, it should be going counterclockwise. If you're left-handed, it's going to be going clockwise. Our first step is we get our clay, we form it into a ball. Take your sponge, uh, get it wet. You guys can kind of see, let me pull it up here. So my water bucket is filled. This is how much water you need. Don't try to get away with this much. You need this much. So fill it up. Uh, take my water on my sponge and I'm just going to moisten my bat head and throw on bats. Um, which is this wood piece that sticks in there. I'm going to take my rounded ball of clay, look for the middle of my wheel. Our first step is called centering. And what that means is getting it to the center of the wheel head. All right, so I kind of throw it down there to get it to, to sort of stick. One of the things that we always want to be aware of is our body positioning. So I have a foot pedal. It's on my right. If I go forward, it speeds up the wheel. If I go backwards, it slows it down. If I take my foot, if I get it going and I take my foot off the off the pedal, the wheel head keeps going. All right, so you want to be aware of that when you start throwing. You want to be able to make sure that you're either holding your foot steady or just take the foot off the pedal once you're at a um, once you're at a speed that you're comfortable with. We want to be sitting so that the center of our body is aligned with the middle of the wheel itself. Okay, so I'm sitting very close to the wheel head. You can see my splash pans right here. Uh, my thighs are touching the splash pan. And I want to make it so that when I lean over, my heart is directly over the middle of the wheel. Right? I always have my elbows braced against my body. You want to have, I call them T-Rex arms, right? No chicken wings, T-Rex arms. Um, so I just got my clay wet. I got my hands wet. So the first thing I'm going to do is with the tops of my hands is kind of push down on the clay. And all that this is doing is making sure that this clay is stuck to the wheel head itself. A little bit more water on there and really just push it down the side. So all that this has done is just kind of domed it out a little bit and it's made sure that there's now uh, that this is completely sealed on. All right. So for centering itself, we're going to do a coning method. So I'm going to get water on my clay. My hands, again, I'm using my elbows against my body. T-Rex arms, right? And all that I'm doing is I'm holding my hands steady and I'm lightly squeezing them together. Now you can see that I have my thumbs touching and I'm slowly bringing my hands together. So the motion that I'm doing, I'm actually hitting the clay with right here at the palms of my hands, I'm slowly squeezing it up and allowing it to come up. We're using um, physics in this case, right? Where all that I'm doing is I'm forcing this clay to the middle of the wheel, right? I'm not allowing it to spread out, I'm not allowing it to go anywhere else. With my hands acting as like a wall or a barricade, what that's gonna do is because this because this clay has nowhere to go since I'm forcing it, it's just gonna come up. And I want to slowly go up. Right? Once I have it pretty much as high as it's gonna go. Um, I'm gonna, it's time to start bringing it down. So to bring it down again, I'm gonna have my little T-Rex arms here. I keep my elbow, I keep mine into my rib cage, um, but whatever's comfortable for you, we all have different body types and what's comfortable for positioning. You do wanna use your body for this more. So my left hand is just kind of guiding. All that it's gonna do is sort of keep this line going so nothing's gonna come past this wall. My right hand right here is going to be what I'm using to push down on the clay. 
And by push down, I'm really just leaning. If you watch, it's not my, my arms don't move a whole lot. It's mostly my body doing these small movements to bring clay down. You'll see, I keep uh, my sponge in my right hand so that I can constantly add water when I need it. And again, all that I'm doing is I'm leaning down. My right hand is the one that's really pushing the clay. My left hand is just making sure that it doesn't spread out into a super thin or fat kind of cake. Okay, you'll notice that my fingers are like really wide out, right? I'm using the palms of my hands. You don't need fingertips. You're not grabbing the clay. You're grabbing the clay, you're doing it wrong. You're panicking. Rule number one of wheel throwing is don't panic. Rule number two, breathe. So just keep remembering that. Those two things and you should be okay. I'm gonna take my rib tool right now and I'm gonna start on the outside edge. And all that I'm doing is I'm just getting rid of some of that extra clay that's stuck to the top or stuck to the wheel head. You don't need to do that stuff if you don't want to. Um, I just like to do it that way. I have more clear vision of where I'm working. So I pushed it back down. It's pretty close to being centered. And the way you can tell is you sort of feel it. So if your hand starts moving or if I put my finger in the middle and it's kind of wobbling a little bit, it's not at the middle. What I'm gonna do now, and all of this again is done by feel, right? So you wanna be like, oh, is this centered? You can't tell by looking, you have to actually feel it happen. So what that I'm doing now is I'm just leaning forward and my left hand as my body weight against it, I'm pushing very gently towards the middle of the wheel. My right hand is just resting here again, my hands are touching to keep it from coming back up to the top. All right? Again, I check it here, and that feels pretty close. Get one more. There we go. So remember, rule number one, don't panic. Rule number two, keep breathing. If you're not breathing, you're probably panicking. So, yeah. so now I have a centered piece of clay. The next step is gonna be opening it up, creating a well. So what I wanna do here is again, I have my T-Rex arms, right? My arms are close to my body, no chicken wings, T-Rex arms. Um, I like to form like the Weezer W, right? Keep my thumbs touching. And then I just gently place my hands around the outside. I'm not really pushing or touching the outside of the clay. I'm just bringing my thumb towards the middle and I'm pushing down, All right? What this does is this helps create an opening for us. And as I go down, I wanna check the depth of it. So I'm gonna use my needle tool Put my needle tool into the well until I hit the uh, the bat head. Let's put my finger on there to check the depth of it. This is going to help us um, get a nice even, and a thin enough floor without getting too too thin or leaving it too thick. We'd rather it be a little bit on the thicker side than the thinner side. So that's where the depth is now. You can see the tip of my needle tool is right here. So where my finger is, it's a little bit thicker than a pinky. That's perfect. All right. Our next step is going to be to open up the, the wheel head. So I have my well. So what I'm going to do now is I get my hands. My left hand, again, is going to be my outside bracing hand. My right hand is moving. I'm going to get my finger or finger. Dang, that's a long bell. All right, I'm gonna get my finger and my fingers into the well, and all I'm gonna do is start out here and lean slowly back. Right, and this is gonna help spread the wheel or spread our well so that we have a nice, good base that we're working with. 
Right. So once we have that ready, now we're ready to start actually pulling the walls. What we do with that, again, we're gonna have our T-Rex arms. Our left hand's gonna go on the inside. This is just moving up and down. Our right hand is gonna be what's pushing the clay up, right? So I like to use the sponge on my out. My left thumb is touching my right hand. I'm really down and close to my clay. And as I'm squeezing, it's just like how when I was coning, I'm bringing my whole body up. I'm just kind of holding the clay where where, uh, where it is, applying a little bit of pressure, and I'm coming up with it. Okay, I take out the water in between each pool. Right, this is where it's really important to not panic and to keep breathing. You want to make sure as you're coming up that you don't stop your hands from moving and that your hands go at the same speed as your wheel. So you want to kind of keep going until you feel like you're at a good height or you're comfortable where you're at. Then what we want to do is we want to fix the lip. I'm going to take my left hand, again braced against my body. I'm supporting my lip with my left fingers on the inside. My right hand, my right leg is gonna be used as a brace. They're touching each other, both things are close to my body and I'm just going to bring that needle tool through to take off that extra clay. That's gonna give me a nice even lip. The last thing I wanna do is I like to use my finger. Again, I support my lip with my left hand then I'm just going to round this edge, all right? When we're doing bugs and bowls and things like that, we want stuff that's going to be nice and clean against our lips. We don't want any sharp edge. Next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at my outside edge. I want to pick a spot. So I'm looking at the profile of it. And again, I'm bracing my elbows against my body. My right leg is being used as an anchor. I find a spot. And I just go straight down, take off all that extra clay, I use my needle tool, stop my wheel head, and take all of that extra clay off. This is going to help prevent me from having to trim off a whole lot. Now, I want to turn off my wheel. Okay, so my wheel is powered off, so that way when I hit my pedal, it doesn't move. This is how we remove our projects from the wheel head. So I take my water, I put it away from me. I take a clay saw, which is either string or wire. I start out on the far end of the wheel head, pull the water straight through, keep it tight until the mug starts to slide off. And then that's it. And then you slide it off the edge, put it on a board, you're good to go. After this, we trim it and then we add a handle. And then if we're going to be graffiti, graffitoing, then we add the graffito design.